Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Kaylee is out today. We're checking in with her. Kaylee, how's it going? All across the country, ballots are pulling in. Uh, according to a new Associate Press NORC poll of those eligible to vote, 54% say they will do it before Election Day. And the number is up from 2016 election, where 42% voted early. But how people cast their ballot, that is up for debate. To debate. Today, I'm joined by Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler. Thank you so much for hey, being here Kayla. today. We're glad you're here. Uh, first question then, we're going to get right to it. Yes. Is mail-in ballots, are those safe and are they reliable? Um, absolutely. You know, one of the reasons the mail-in ballot option was there because of concerns for COVID-19. So the legislature gave that to voters. As I tell folks, if you're here in Greene County, you request an absentee or mail-in ballot by mail. We have a great experience with our local post office in terms of turning that around quickly. If you're outside of the state of Missouri, again, once you get that ballot, you need to turn around, get that filled out, mail it back to us as quickly as possible. With COVID-19, a lot of people do want to avoid long lines. They yes. want to avoid interaction between people, although it is safe. You, yes. you guys have got masks and social distancing Correct. in place. But a lot of people do want to, you know, have it for more convenience and maybe safety. Uh, for those mail-in ballots, you've got to have them requested by the 21st of October. That's right. Absentee or mail-in ballots have to be requested by October 21st. We're encouraging people, don't wait till then. If you know you're going to do that, go ahead and request now. And I would even encourage you a week ahead of the 21st. Right. And uh, they are due by Election Day, November 3rd. That's right. But maybe you want to send those seven business days ahead or before. That's correct. You know, again, you want to get it back in the mail as quickly as possible. Even here locally, we recommend no less than seven business days out just to make sure there's plenty of time for your ballot to arrive in our office by 7 p.m. election night. And if you're looking for convenience, but you still want to do in-person voting, you guys have got plenty of options. That's right. So, for example, today starts absentee voting. So you can come to 1126 North Boonville, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can come vote in person. It's going to be set up just like it would be the day of the election. We'll have the safety uh, measures in place for you as a voter. And again, you have this time period to be able to vote by mail as well. You've got to be 18 years of old. You've 18 years old. You've got to be a U.S. citizen. You've got to be, uh, you can't be a felon. You know, there's, there's those stipulations. And then what do people have to bring for voting? Um, you know, for example, you know, if you have your voter ID card, that works fine, but a lot of people are going to bring in their driver's license. Um, if you don't have one of those, if you have a current utility statement or bank statement that has your name and the address you're registered at, as long as it's a current statement, that will um, work as well on election day. I've got one more thing here, too. There is the first televised debate between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. Do you think that debate will change anyone's perspective of, of their vote? I think that's always important for people to hear from both candidates, especially those who may not identify by a party. They're going to get an opportunity to hear the vision that's cast by both candidates. And so that's always important. I think we typically call that the swing voter. And so I certainly see some voters are going to listen to both candidates and that could change their mind. Voting early is key. You can do that today. Uh, give us that address again. Again, 1126 North Boonville. So just right north of the historic courthouse. All right. Voting is underway. Guys, back to you. Mm. All right. Yes, and we'll be having special voting coverage all day yes, long here on Fox and on Color 10. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of reporters out covering, you know, it's important. And by the way, guys, we ain't telling you how to vote. No, we're not. We're when just we, saying vote. Yeah, when yeah. We, we say it's important to vote, we don't yeah. have an agenda with that. I mean, yeah. Of course, we. everybody's got their own thing. Remember when nobody talked about who they were voting Remember for? Remember the good old days, the Kelly? <laughs> Kelly, tell me about the good old days. Mama, <laughs> yeah, tell me about the good old days. Yeah, well, you weren't born yet. You're right. <laughs> they were good. I was playing football in the backyard with the boys, and one day I was a cheerleader, one day I was a football player. There you go. Yeah, I had a great time. I wasn't indoors at yeah. all. Loved it. That's fun. You know what else I just realized, too, Kel? What? We're wearing white after Labor Day. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. I don't Forget care. the fashion rules. Who did I talk to about the other day? And honestly, um, you know, I bought a jacket the other day that is, it's like warm. It's like a warm fabric mm -hmm. and it's straight on white. They, yeah, you can do that. Straight on white. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, you can wear white anytime you want. Yeah, we, we really don't care about you the fashion You can wear rules. unmatching socks if you want. Oh, I'm not Start today. A trend. I could. Yeah. 
Wh why is it inappropriate to wear white socks with black shoes? Michael Jackson did it. There you go. Hmm. Yeah. He did all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. By the way, speaking of Michael Jackson, yeah. coming up later in the show, I'm taking you to Beyond the Lens in Branson. Oh, I can't wait to go. There's a Michael Jackson section mm -hmm. that will startle you. It, what? I, really? I can't say anything because I want you to be right. surprised when you go, but oh my gosh, it, it literally made me jump and scream. Let's go to Branson and have some fun. Oh my gosh, I yeah. <gasps> well, I don't know if we can talk about it yet, but we are going to Branson in the future. Yeah, we are. In a couple of weeks. Yeah. But we can't say anything more. We like more. to hang on a cliff there. We'll, we'll tell you soon. We're going to hang on a cliff? We like hanging them on oh. a cliff there. <laughs> I was like, Kelly, it's a I cliff told you. Hanger. It's a cliff hanger. I was like, Kelly, I'm not cliff diving again. No, we're I not won't doing do that. it. <laughs> There's I limits, will not. Kelly. I will not. There's limits. Don't yes. push me out of a plane. And by on. the way, guys, seriously, though, we really do want you to vote. And I think we're probably preaching to the choir, our audience. I think so, too. We know you like to vote and you're going to vote. And right. it, it is important to exercise your right. And somebody said to me one time, if you don't vote, you can't complain. Yeah. And I, I've talked to some people that have said that they're so discouraged that they don't want to vote. And to me, I just don't really, I don't know. If you don't like the person, you maybe need to dive into what they're for. Yeah. Also, every time I watch one of those TV shows that is basically fiction, but about like government and conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. it also leaves me a little down and be like, how, par how much of this is actually true? <laughs> how much do we not know as the general public? I could say something, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to zip it right okay, there. right now. All right, coming up, it's our Right This Minute and Extra video of the day. Right. Talk about one of my favorite shows ever, too. Yep. Okay. We'll be back.